Welcome, guys. It is day 42. Let's get into it, shall we? Alright, so, um, we are pushing this guy back. Hardcore. Right? And, um, yeah. Looks like a lot of my Arizona surgeon, apparently. Uh. But yeah, um, it is what it is, though. But yeah, I chose to switch from capturing cities to capturing provinces, as Greece is not going to stop me. And as me and my friend discussed, we'll just clear this guy up and then go back in the future for, um, stuff. Now, I will do y'all the service of seeing me launch a missile, I think. So yeah. Gotta make sure it's the right place though. Sukeva, yes. Bam. There it is. A ballistic missile has been launched to Greece and all that. I was also upgrading my special forces, so apparently. Okay, so with that power, I guess they grew beards? I don't know, I never even knew they had beards. That is weird. But yeah, I'm upgrading the ballistic miss right now and all that. Um, my friend's pushing through all of this. We're also pushing Iraq. So none of these went insurgent from Iraq. So we basically got it under our control. Oh. Caught a Sam slipping, have we? And look at that. That's basically another Sam out of the way for us. Yeah, this is another miss I've launched on us because I'm trying to weaken it up for when my, my mechanites do eventually get there, though. Speaking of which, it looks like I may have lost a mechanized unit. Actually. First special forces group eliminated, yeah. Either way. I'm proud to announce. Oh, wow, that's... That's a rip right there. Oh yeah, because I've been hitting Damascus this entire time. So, one bomber died, but I am proud to announce that for one, this game is going to probably end rapidly now that they win AFK. I have a four-man special forces group, which means I can actually move in and do really good work with that. I can move in, kill some insurgents, all of that. No issues. Because a four-man group is very, still very deadly to have to deal with. So yeah. I'll probably have them try to move into here though. And I'll actually make sure too that's going to take that long because, you know, it'd be like that. But yeah, this is them. 40 solid target, 24 armored. They could actually break through most things now that this guy has... One of the things I want to do is actually come up here to Berlin and kill this off up here. This artillery battalion thing. And then with the special forces, I can literally just um, slowly kill off any insurgents, take these cities, all of that. So yeah. Hopefully special forces are engaged in by then. Given we do know that they have quite a bit of people in it, it is what it is, but, yeah. Another ballistic missile strike, though, on this guy. You know? Social forces are doing work. Mechanize is still taking province and so, but it's probably going to need a break, honestly. So next time I'm going to go back to Baghdad, I'm going to make a hospital there for him. So, yeah. That's going to happen. My friend's pushing down south to wrap this up. I hope his group right here is safe considering those artillery there. Um, I'll actually have this bomber go bomb that for his sake. Yeah, let's look at this. So, uh, I don't know who went AFK. I'm pretty sure it's Greece or Iraq who did, though. Inside my spies did not pick up anything that's worth mentioning from either person. So that is also a dud in the water right there. Our for our frigates are coming along nicely though. We're gonna be building a third one now. 
and all that. So yeah, we have a pretty nice anti-air stack at this point that can even shoot down missiles, which is pretty nice. Bombers coming in. We need more mechanized though, for sure. Because I'm actually running out of infantry that can capture, and that is not good for us, as you can imagine. My theory of defense systems are not really needed to be built anymore. Toad artillery. Let's see here. Yeah, just make some more toad artillery. Because we need to more to our supplies when it comes to units. I've also lent one of these to our friend. So if this guy launches ballistic, nuke, or anything like that, he... It'll be shot down, but I had destroyed three launchers so far with that special forces, and this will be a SAM added to that. Rogue says we by cruise missile. Thailand, so Thailand keeps launching cruise missiles at these rogue states. And now Thailand is now going to start recapturing his territory, finally. Now, yeah, that's pretty good for us. And as you can see, through taking Irax capital, all these have went in surge, and... Yeah, you're done, Firerack. I totally condone my friend. Now, if he wants to trash talk him a little bit, you know, for basically saying he spent money on this, he's gonna essentially wipe my friend off the map. Yeah, he still has yet to do that. Yeah, it happens, you know, and all that. So, uh, yeah, so tactically speaking, I think we can end this game in two to three weeks from now. I was making it my longest conflict match I've ever done to and recorded. And all that. So yeah. So over here. I'm gonna make more mechanized, right? I'm gonna make more mechanized. I'm gonna send them in to actually hopefully capture stuff faster. Do I have any mechanized anyway? I do have one. Because there's something I do want to take, because I know if I don't take it. It's going to be annoying to some of y'all. So yes, I'm finally taking this small little province over here. It'll take a day. But, <clears throat> here's the plan. We take all of Africa. Two to three days from now, this should be hopefully done. Depending on how bad the uh, insurgents are and all that, you know. And stuff. All right, once that's done, I'm going to try to send the units over here. France has a good war on us, sadly, but because they're so cut up, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to um, probably have my special forces attack France, if I see it as safe. Before I do that, I want to take all of Italy, all of Greece, essentially. So, all this right here should be ours within three to four days. I don't know about down here, though, because I need to send more troops out for that. Up here, though, this should be done within a day or two. I want all this right here, this small part, within the next two days. And then within the next four days, I want all this. And within a week, I'm hopefully looking at something like this. We'll be at Odessa. Odessa? I don't know how to say it right. And all this to the left would be ours. And then another week will pass, and we'll hopefully have all of this. You're probably wondering why I'm saying like another week. It's mostly the fact that it's probably more... Is it more of terrain out there? It's not. I thought it was. But the rogues are also another thing, which would be more deadly than I think Greece has. But uh, yeah, after that's done, we can then start moving south to an Iraq. So once that's all done, taking all of this would probably be a few days after that. For the second week, I want to try to take Turkey and the Middle East. At least this part of it. You know, uh, Israel, Palestine, who else is there? Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, all that, all that. Take all of that, which I might leave up to my friend to do. Surgeons haven't also been popping off, too. They're not small, but this guy has been quailing the insurgents, though. Interesting. But once that's done, I'm hoping to hear that up in Iraq. We take this small area that he actually owns his homeland within... A week from now because there's less inventory there and then within two weeks hopefully have this controlled now this right here is going to take four to five weeks to do if we're even here for that long because of all the deserts with mountains and he's all rogue too but yeah hopefully we can pull out a victory though <laughs> uh.
Barak has been critically injured and he's not going to recover. Right now, Ally is also bombing us with an RLS. He's also going to have this unit move in too. So, Thailand's finally creating a good stack to actually push back. I gave him a sand to protect himself. Now, if all this is not enough to win the game, right? I'm actually going to want to set my eyes for Chad. Nigeria, the Democratic Peoples of Congo, this is what Mozambique is. So Mozambique is trying to take everything from the DR Congo down. Is that worth everyone here? So we do that. We'll be chilling. He's right now trying to take back his homeland city from insurgents. Um, but yeah, Nigeria will be my next target after we take out Greece and Iraq fully. Assuming I'm enough. And then we can kind of sweep Molly, take that. Then change to Niger, then Chad, take that, which I think also took South Sudan, right? Yeah, take all of that. Then we'll have all of Africa, France, all this in our midst. Then I'd probably want to grab Spain so we're connected to this right here, right? And then once that's all done, we can take um, whatever remnants of Austria in here. So this, this, all of this. And Africa, if that and if that's still not enough to win, then we can start seeing our sites up north to Sweden, Norway, Finland, Russia, or if we have a good navy power like my friend, we could look into Oceania. We could take out Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Australia. We could take all that too. Also Zealand, but who who plays New Zealand? You can also take all of that and have a successful thing. The Philippines, like, no one here is winning Navy. So taking um, Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and Calcedonia, New Caledonia, Australia, New Zealand. That's going to be easy for us, right? Um, up here, we could also bomb this. So it looks like North and South Korea are crazy. Also, they, for the first time, got a province down to zero morale. I've never seen that before in my life. It's now at four morale, but who's still happy on that piece of land? But, uh, yeah, Iraq has been critically damaged. As I always say, if you take out a capital and someone's also easily go insurgent, that's critically damaged. This is the points for now. This was before the insurgency check. Day 41 was when I made the landing. And we had a full day, 24 hours to do it. And within that time, Greece has lost 200 points, as you can see. And Iraq has lost, like, 30. But Greece has lost one-sixth of his size. Due to all my landings. Because it was initially... I didn't care if my units died, right? And a reason for this... Is the fact that if I can make as many cities as the surgeon as possible, Greece will have a hard time. But now that I see Greece isn't fighting back, my gears are switched now. I want to try to take all the provinces and all the cities. So initially, I was doing it just to rip him up, buy us some more time to bring in some more firepower, like this. Which, yeah, I did mess up on the landing though. I should have waited and all that. Admittedly. But yeah, let's look at my research where I add it. So I'm going for the missile upgrades. You know, it's probably not needed at this point. It's still nice to have, especially this, because I think this increases speed, right? With better fuel? No. Boost upgrade, though, would by five, which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'll need any more missiles. But I still build them, though, just in case. Like if someone has too hard of a defense like the AI do, because they just build up a crap ton of units. Then I'll just spam them with it. I'm also just going to build up my bomber fleet in the meantime. So Rosario is typically where I'd build them along with the subs. But yeah, I don't think mechanized tech electronics. Yeah, I'd have to buy some more. I haven't thought of doing that. So let's see. Can I afford it? If I throw all my money at it. I don't know. Uh, in a few minutes, I totally could and all that. <coughs> Sorry for that. So yeah, we'll just go for another one then. We'll cut off the mechanized support here then. 
and we'll just gladly wait for it to come to fruition with electronics and build more missiles and stuff. I also should get a submarine more so I can also launch more missiles, you know? But yeah, getting into here with Odyssey, I'm sad it went rogue, because I could have been on airfield there and all that. But yeah, the two landings I had in Par Pado Pardosia? Podgorsia. Yeah. I always called it Podogorsia. It's it's Podgorica. Wow, I butchered that in the past. Or is it Podgorisa? Podgorisa. Podgorisa. So yeah, I had a landing there. It fell through because he used the strikers to hit me. And so did Odyssey because he also used strikers to hit me. Up here, this landing actually almost failed. One of my mechanized was it you? I think it was him. Yeah, it was this guy. He actually got hit by artillery from this because he has uh, mobile artillery. I think, yeah, that's the one, this one. He has, I think, at level 2 or whatever. Hell, even level 2 is very useful as even a range increase is not something you can deny as being incredibly helpful. Along with the um, slight damage increase to armor. Does also increase speed? No. Health? No. But uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll keep this going though until at least the missile hits so y'all can see what it would wreck on the remaining troops. Now, maybe this isn't strong. It's going to deal 25 damage, but it's going to split between everyone, admittedly. Unless it counts these as its own separate thing, which in case I'll get completely decimated. <clears throat> but yeah, we've won against Greece and all that. And at any buildings, I mean, this may just be unhappy enough and get hit by their fourth. Yeah, fourth missile, because initial launched two, then waited a little bit, launched one yesterday, and now today's another one. Because only had one to launch. So yeah. Ideally, though, um, I'll keep upgrading special forces. So that way they can get to their max out form. And same with mechanized, because I still have to mechanize max out and all that. But if Greece had played differently, though honestly, then we would have won easily, you know? So yeah. It is what it is, though. Um, I'm actually curious, how's the insurgency doing right now, though? Since after all, they po they've been really popping off. I think they're top 10 now, right? Yeah, they're in 8th. They're doing better than America. And we can talk about this, too. This is the crazy thing about this. America and Mexico have been at war for weeks in this game, I believe. I still think they're fighting, too, if I'm being honest. Mexico cannot push up anymore into America, and America cannot push Mexico back anymore. It is literally the definition of a stalemate. Because I am sure that they're at war. Are they still at war? I need to do all, though, just to make sure. I guess not. It's hard to tell, though. Because these are still unhappy provinces days later, which means there's still fighting going on. Pretty nutty, though. But it just seems like no matter what happens, they just cannot repel each other. Because another thing we can also do is set our sights up north. Take all North America. Take the Caribbean Sea and all that, too, as a potential victory. Like, we already have one continent under our control. Which is pretty good for us. You know? Yeah. Come look up here, though. This is about to land in one minute. But yeah, I'd say so far, I wish I was more aggressive early on towards other places. Because I'm learning slowly that I can't be so defensive let my friend do everything and back him up on it. I mean, I'll be like the one who strategizes. Here's the thing. I'm a strategizer. I'll strategize something. And I'd rather take it slow and methodical and all that slowly instead of just being really aggressive. Sometimes I will be aggressive. But yeah, 
that is something I need to get better at, is just being more aggressive overall. Because <laughs> my playstyle can lead to losses if my teammates are not backing me up or lead me to do some irrational strategies, honestly. And all that. So yeah. Let's watch this ballistic missile hit this. And while that's happening, I will mute my mic. And there you have it. That is what a ballistic missile strike looks like. We cut off. It looks like on a plane, so it did do the 75 damage, it seems. The mech and I are probably weeping. And, uh, yeah. That's what a ballistic missile strike looks like, and that's what it sounds like when it lands. So, yeah. From this one thing we just did, it'd be both of these. So, we'll see maybe in a National Guard. So yeah, but all in all guys, that's me for this episode. I'll catch you next time later. Sorry for being so long. Bye.